The Davenport Panthers exceeded most expectations last season. After going 1-10 in 2017, Panthers went 6-5 and five a year ago and finished in the middle of the pack of the GLIAC, which included, of course, three of the top, two of the top three teams in the entire nation. Sparky McEwen and the Panthers held their media day on Friday, the last of the West Michigan college teams to do so. Joe Alicio was there and has more tonight one-on-one -on -one with head coach Sparky McEwen. You guys have really built this thing. You have some great momentum going. How excited are you to tackle another year? Pretty excited. Pretty excited. You know, uh, it goes fast. You know, it goes fast. And this year looks like we're going to have uh, right around uh, 18 and 19 seniors. And just seeing these student athletes grow, you know, it, it means a lot to us. This will be our third season, and uh, it's going to be uh, actually one of our tougher ones. Can you believe it's been three? No, I can't. You know, I can't go so fast because, you know, coaches, they we all age in dog years, man, and, and your days run all together. And, um, you know, it's a tough profession, but, you know, we're blessed to do what we love to do and work with uh, young people. And you are building it here. You had a, a big year last year. You took a huge step. How do you harness that momentum and, and continue that track forward? You know, we, we hear that, you know, we had a, a good year, and but when you talk to the boys, they'll tell you the only thing that they remember was the last five. You know, the last five was tough on us, and uh, they understand how uh, not to run into that type of season. We've had to build our depth and, you know, get stronger on the off season and, and uh, continue through uh, picking up transfers and things like that to bridge the gap in the GLIAC because this, this conference is it's really tough. It's really tough, and uh, our kids understand it now. They've played in it long enough, and they know what the expectation is, and uh, we just want to build on what we uh, started here. Offensively, you got two guys at quarterback. You got depth there when you talk about building depth. Um, how important is that, and how much will that offensive side of the ball carry you through the early part? Is that defense plug some holes? Well, last year was a great example of the depth at quarterback. The year before, my first year, Hayden, you know, won the starting job. He took it over uh, after week five, you know, and he allowed us to compete. And then uh, DeAndre comes in and uh, he wins the starting job, and he gets hurt after week one. And Hayden steps right back in, and he le he led us to a, a a winning season. So having that depth now, it's it's huge. And then we have some younger kids that's come along after that that I've been able to train and get them ready for the future. So we got some healthy competitions here, and it's pretty much in every position. Uh, but like you said, we we got to fill the holes that were vacated there on the uh, defensive side of the ball. How hard is that to do? It's extremely hard to do because, you know, when we're on the recruiting trail, what we sell, we sell our university, number one, and then we sell Grand Rapids. It's a it's an incredible place to come to. In small college football, a lot of these, you know, universities are in smaller, you know, towns. And, and so we're able to sell that to some of the transfers, mm -hmm. and uh, that helps us out tremendously. But it's tough, man. You, you know, I like to build it through the high school ranks, so we've got a pretty good recruiting class coming up. But in the meantime, you know, we want to go out with a pretty good good product and, and, and showcase uh, that we can compete in this conference. One more, you talk about that recruiting aspect. How much does officially being a part of Division II and being able to compete in the playoffs, how much does that help as a recruiting tool? Or, or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. No, it does help. It does help because when you talk to um, you know, student athletes across the country, they want to know, number one, do you have a chance to qualify for the playoffs? Um, we don't talk about playoffs. We talk about competing week in and week out. But at the end of the day, you got to recruit. And, and all of a sudden, you know, the first year I got here, we weren't able to compete in the playoffs and we lost some guys. Now, some of those guys that we lost the first year, we're now winning some of those recruiting battles. Just knowing now that we're official, um, it's it's a big difference. You know, it's just like an FCS school versus an FBS school. You know, these kids, they want to compete with the elite.